Twinny Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back. So, yay, yay. I do enjoy making videos. I do enjoy trying new products. So, why not do both? I guess. So here we are. <laughs> so I'm here to try the main crush. I kind of looked through my stash like, okay, what do I really most want to try? And that came up as the one I most wanted to try. So here we are. I'm excited to be trying the whole, well not the whole line, but a whole wash day from the brand. Shampoo, deep conditioner, leave-in and styler. So let's get to it. I'm going to start off with the shampoo. Starting with the Curly Temple shampoo. So it's supposed to clean and remove product build up without stripping. It's gentle, but it's supposed to clean. Let's get into it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh God, yeah, God, yeah, God, in the live reaction. But when it came out black, I was like, just knock me over with something. Like that was the last thing I expected. It does have rustle clay in it, but it doesn't feel like a clay at all. It feels kind of gummy, like almost, <clears throat> scent, like almost like a gel. So, very interesting, let's put it that way. Let me get it in here. I can feel it doing something on my scalp. It's not all talk, for sure. This shampoo is very interesting. Um, I do like the scent, the scent of it. Like, it's like gummy, so sometimes the scent is kind of sealed away and sometimes it just hits you. So, what does it smell like? It just has a sweet, slightly herbal scent. So I'm rewetting my hair a little bit, just trying to get it to suds. Like it feels like it almost wants to suds, but then it's not quite doing it. This is my hair with the shampoo on it. I did kind of leave it in long because it like almost wants to suds, but it didn't quite. So I'm probably going to rinse it and try to do around two. It does feel good on my scalp. I wouldn't say it did nothing, but... I would have preferred something slightly stronger to wash my hair after skipping a week. So this is my hair after rinsing. I do feel like the gummy texture of that shampoo made it sort of difficult to rinse. Because usually I can just at least, you know, get in there with my water and kind of rinse. But I had to actually squeeze to kind of get out like the blobs of stuck together shampoo sort of. Not like stuck together, stuck together, but gently stuck together shampoo. I had to squeeze it out. I couldn't just rinse it out. Maybe you can like actually use some kind of nozzle bottle and shake it with water to kind of get it to distribute and rinse easier. But definitely be careful of that. It does have a nice tingle on the scalp. The shampoo I think definitely cleanses my hair and cleanses my scalp. So I do feel happy about that. My hair does feel a bit kind of drawn up. So if you're prone to tangles or if you have fine hair, it might be a little difficult to use the shampoo. So warning. But I think we survived. I think we survived. My hair does feel soft and it does feel clean. We're gonna keep going. I'm not scared. The Cosmo Curlitan Deep Conditioner now, so let's see what this has for me. I don't think anything can shock me more than that shampoo. Okay, so this looks relatively normal, I guess. Um, it has a kind of light consistency, but kind of thick as well. So, mm, it smells nice. It smells kind of like burnt coffee, like salted caramel, something like that. Mm, I do like the scent. It does definitely have a kind of buttery feel, but it's light and easy to spread as well. It doesn't feel like it has a lot of slip, but we'll see. I am kind of using a lot, probably using half. And again, because it has that kind of buttery but watery texture in the sense that my hair is kind of eating it up. So this is how much I used, kind of just above half. So far, I can't really say I'm impressed. I wish I could, but it's just giving me that homemade type of formulation where it's not really giving me that moisture, it's not really giving me that slip. It doesn't have me, my hair is kind of dominating it. So the slip isn't as bad as I feared. I think I would give it a good six and a half, maybe six out of ten for slip. Which doesn't sound great, but I was worried. I was more worried than that. <laughs> so a six out of ten I couldn't carefully work with. This is my hair after applying deep conditioner. I am gonna go let it sit for 30 minutes and come back. And hopefully we'll have our magical transformation. So far, shampoo. <laughs> shampoo, I'll probably give it a six and a half. And the deep conditioner right now, 
four and a half, like five maybe. But it's not quite there on slip. It hasn't done anything for me yet in terms of moisture. So it does smell great, spreads easily. Um, but I am doing deep conditioner things yet. So I'm a little disappointed so far with this wash day. I'm a little nervous for the rest of the wash day. You know this year I'm coming in with a save, no more struggle wash days. So if I need to save it, I will. But so far we're pushing on with a little bit of disappointment. So stay tuned. <laughs> this is my hair after letting it sit. So I do feel like it's gotten more moisturized while it was sitting. So yeah. I definitely like how it feels in terms of softness and moisture and everything. I feel like it got in there. Is it my favorite deep conditioner? No. Um, is the slip amazing? No. But I will say the deep conditioner got the job done. So the shampoo was decent and the deep conditioner was decent so far. But not in to repurchase level and I'm still a little nervous uh, for my wash and go in terms of slip. So I was pleasantly surprised by the back. It wasn't a complete disaster. I do wish that it had more slip, like the leave-in had more slip. But I actually kind of like the styler. The only thing is like, why is it blue? Like that was like, that was extra. But I actually like the styler so far. The styler is something I might repurchase. Um, but let me apply it and show you guys what's what. So I have the crisis control Ayurvedic leave-in. I like the Ayurvedic part of this. Always down for that. Consistency is that kind of homemade, soft, um, kind of like a deep conditioner in terms of like, okay, it's soft, it'll spread easily, but not that much slip and will it really moisturize. Again, like a deep conditioner, enough slip to kind of work it in. It's not a complete slip disaster, but it's not like, you know, who so much slip. And it's the type of thing that's going to be kind of drippy and stuff, that lack of agent that's going to make it kind of thicker not just in texture but in terms of kind of holding together as a product and not just becoming drippy and runny with the water so you can see what i mean my hair just looks kind of white around and kind of runny the product is necessarily sticking to my hair i guess but overall my hair does feel moisturized and does kind of have enough slip it just isn't like okay yeah this leave into care of me it's kind of like it's a struggle but i think we're making it through. This is my hair after applying the leave-in. I don't know. It is definitely kind of big and I don't know what to say about the moisture. Um, it's kind of that big definition, meaning that it's defined but in small bits, like it's not really clumped. So, I don't know. But let's get to the star of the show, I guess. It's this Curtini Styler. So it's like hecka blue. <laughs> Why did it have to be that blue? I don't know. It looks like hair wax, but it isn't. Consistency. It's what it looks like on my hands. <laughs> but I do think it's moisturizing and has slip and everything and gives definition. So in terms of a styler, I was like, yeah. And it goes a long way as well. So I was happy with that. So I guess this is my hair after applying the styler. Um, the styler seems kind of frothy, which leads me to think that the hole wouldn't really be there or it's gonna be a strange hold. But this is what we have. At least the styler was, had good slip and was moisturizing and nice to apply. I just wish it was, kind of held me down a little bit more. I see frizz already. So yeah, I guess we'll see when it dries. <sighs> Yeah, I think my PJ days are over because of that, you know, like, I don't know. Like, it doesn't really feel as worth it to me to keep trying new things when I have things I like that can make me happy. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, I'm back. It actually isn't that bad. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, I thought it was going to dry even more frizzy, but it pretty much dried how it was wet. Which just goes to show you that definition isn't the same as clumping, isn't the same as hold. Because sometimes a product doesn't give me much definition or clumping, but it still kind of holds whatever it held wet, and I get the same thing 
dry or similar so yeah I think it's a cute shape and everything so result wise I'm pleasantly surprised but you know as I mentioned last year 2021 <laughs> and beyond like I don't want to struggle application either like application has to be a dream and result has to be a dream for me to really repurchase and all of these products kind of had either like the only one that was easy to apply was the styler and then the styler was blue and smelt didn't smell natural and the rest of it was kind of strugglations to apply well the shampoo was strugglations to rinse and the deep conditioner and leave-in was strugglations to apply let me know if you like this brand and everything like if your hair has a lot of slip or you work in small sections or you work on stretch hair I can see you kind of making them work but for somebody like me who kind of works very big sections if any and pretty much with my natural shrinkage I just prefer to have something that has crazy slip, crazy moisture, not too drippy and just an overall dream to apply and these kind of didn't really get me there. So let me get in there and kind of show you a little bit of the definition. So I can see definition and frizz. Um, yeah, this is it. <laughs> so if you were curious about main crush, now you know. The only downside of this shampoo for me is that it's really difficult to rinse out. I can't just run the water there. I have to like squeeze and like get it out. Like this shampoo, the way it stuck to my hair, like I wish the leave-in and the deep conditioner did that. The shampoo didn't want to let go and the, the leave-in and deep conditioner didn't want to hold on. The goat milk and the clay was definitely interesting. I had the chibi which is interesting. I didn't notice anything like chebe or whatever, it just went on great, rinse great and everything. I am glad I got my first taste of chebe because this is my first product using chebe. I do like to apply product and then apply a little bit of water to kind of just help get it all through and stuff. And with this, I apply the leave-in and I apply the water and the water pretty much rinsed the leave-in right out because the leave-in just wasn't really sticking to my hair. It was just getting drippy and running off. It was... <laughs> It was an exercise in futility. It was like a Dante's Inferno leave-in, I guess, for my method of applying products. Didn't really work for me in terms of application. And then the styler, which I could have almost liked, if it was a little bit better defining, like I like the whole, I like the application. I mean, the smell isn't that bad. The smell is kind of sweet. But it's a little bit, I get a little bit of chemical -y too. I don't know if it's just because the thing is blue or if it's because of the scent. But between the two, like, I just got kind of turned off. If you're selling a natural hairline and you're selling, like, a, you know, natural ingredients and stuff, why you want to make it blue? Like, why you want to put some fake coloring in there when you don't have fake ingredients? Like, that doesn't really, like, make it make sense. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Like, you know, think about your target market. I know you're trying to be fun, but think about your target market as well. She didn't even list whatever the color was in here. So I was just color me plenty surprised that this thing was blue. And I don't even know what she put in here for the color. But it reminded me of using my those hair waxes. It was just unnecessary. <laughs> unnecessary. And it probably did throw off the scent of this. But that's it, I guess. That's my main crush experience. Definitely let me know in the comments if you've tried it. This year, Black Friday, I might just get one new brand this so much and just call it that. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk about. Like, maybe I will start doing some leave-in shampoos, those kind of videos. Like, five leave-ins, yeah, like, five shampoos, whatever. Because, I don't know. I'm starting to just want to use things that I know and love. I am liking the vibe. I'm gonna happily rock my hair this week. I even kind of like the Wolverine thing now, like instead of like, like I like it kind of coming straight out like that. So I kind of, I'm kind of feeling the Wolverine <laughs> shape right now. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is my hair. So I'll with the results. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of Main Crush. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.